finally covered the story. The front page article was largely sympathetic both to the gay militants and to the archbishop who gave them communion. In fact, the only person criticized in the piece was me. As Mayor Gavin Newsom said, quote, this debate is really about San Francisco values. The Bill O'Reilly's of the world are threatened by San Francisco because we value diversity, universal health care, and civil rights for all. Newsom didn't criticize the sacrilege. In fact, he didn't even address it. He just attacked me. But throwing in universal health care was a nice touch, don't you think? The article went on to quote some people who said the archbishop was correct in giving the gay militants communion. Then why did he apologize for doing it? The article doesn't say. Finally, the gay group who perpetuated this outrage has issued a statement, quote, contrary to the spin of right-wing fanatics, the sisters of perpetual indulgence do not mock nuns but live as nuns, taking vows that affirm the traditional, compassionate, and justice-seeking ministries of religious women, unquote. That is yet another outrageous lie. The truth is, the militant group denigrates Christians at every opportunity, and the names the transvestite nuns use are often obscene. I can't even tell you what they are. Now, their invasion of a religious service in San Francisco with intent to demean could have been illegal and was absolutely disgraceful. Yet the mayor won't condemn it, and the local press condones it. This is what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when secular progressives gain power. We've seen the insanity in Boulder, Colorado, and over and over again in San Francisco. Gavin Newsom couldn't care less about civil rights for all. Catholics in his town don't even have the right to worship without obscene interruption. Newsom is frightened by the gay militants who now control the city. He is a coward. What has happened in San Francisco should be a warning to all Americans. If far-left loons gain power, watch out. They are the oppressors. They are the totalitarians. Truth means nothing. The sanctity of a church means nothing. The rights of Christians and other groups that oppose the secular society mean nothing. My book, Culture Warriors, spells it out, but this church invasion underlines the issue in a way that is both frightening and illuminating. Newsom and his SB crew must be challenged.